Governor Cuomo has declared a state of emergency for all eight counties along the Lake Ontario shoreline. This call follows other states of emergencies issued by Monroe and Wayne counties. As you can see, the lake levels are high. The state declaration increases the no-wake zone to within 1,000 feet of the shoreline. That is an order for boats. So far, we have seen one beach closed for this season because docks are underwater and so is the beach itself. Homes and business owners are worried about their properties now and the governor says the state is preparing for the worst. We are preparing now for the reoccurrence of the 2017 flooding situation, which as people remember was uh, devastating and caused a lot of damage and a lot of hardship for thousands of New Yorkers. According to the most recent information on the lake, the water level is about 21 inches higher than average for this time of year. Even though the level is still below the levels that caused the devastating flooding two years ago, flooding is still a huge concern, and representatives from the International Joint Commission say they will and are increasing water outflows after last week's heavy rains. That commission now has three new members, all confirmed by the U.S. Senate. Jane Corwin of Western New York is one of the new members. She's heading to Washington, D.C. tomorrow to talk about the lake levels. Corwin says her first priority as chair of the IJC is to revisit Plan 2014. This plan was designed to better control water levels on Lake Ontario and protect wetlands, but also did anticipate more flooding. Corwin says she wants to see whether the plan can be adjusted to better handle the weather we've been getting. Since the plan's been implemented, we've had a lot of rain, we've had a lot of snow, uh, we've had a lot of weather events that would cause excessive amounts of water to drain into the lake. Maybe a modification of the plan is all that's necessary. Maybe the plan needs to be scrapped altogether. It's too soon for me to, to know that. Corwin also tells us the Great Lake Adoptive Management Committee is currently working on an analysis of Plan 2014 to determine if it's effective or not.